Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. There has been a tag video going on called The Confessions of a Persholic. I think it's a great tag um, to share with all the handbag lovers out there. Uh, I would like to do that tag as well. But before that, I would like to share with you guys my non Louis Vuitton handbag collections. I think it will help me to answer some of the questions uh, on the tag. So let me just give you a glance of what I have. I don't have a lot. Uh, well, this amount, I would say. Um, I have one Gucci bag, one Michael Kors bag, and the rest are Coach. Okay. I don't know if I mentioned before, I used to be a huge uh, Coach handbag lover. Um, I bought my first Coach bag here, uh, I would say, seven or eight years ago. Okay. And before that, I really wasn't into designer handbags. Um, plus, I guess I was young and then wasn't making a lot of money anyway. <laughs> um, I purchased my first um, coach bag. This is actually from the outlet store. Uh, this is still classic style leather bag. I believe they still have it uh, on their website. It actually took me 20 minutes to decide if I wanted this bag because it was over $100. Um, and as I said, you know, before my first coach bag, I wasn't really uh, into designer handbags. And um, yeah, but you can kind of see that after my first coach bag, you know, my obsession has been, you know, escalated. Um, you know, I, you know, eight years ago, I was contemplating buying a, a hundred dollar bag, but obviously now, you know, I, I've owned several Louis Vuitton bags that's, you know, over a thousand dollars each. <laughs> So, um, all right. So this one is pretty good. I uh, haven't used a lot, uh, you know, the past few years just because it's, for some reason, it's way too small for me now. Like, I'm carrying a lot more now. <laughs> and you see, I got a replace hand tag. Uh, Coach is very good at, you know, giving you replace hand tags. I got this from the outlet store, but you can also call the customer service. They will send the replace hand tags to you for free. And obviously I have a matching wristlet over here. Okay. And I also have the red have a red one and because I think at some point I did have a red coach leather bag, but I sold it. Um and um after my first coach bag I was really into it and I actually bought a bunch of coach bags off eBay. Um I actually sold most of them. Uh last year almost or the year before uh since I started really uh, getting into Louis Vuitton, um, but you know, this is the, the few bags I still have left. Um, and um, uh, at the beginning, uh, while I was searching for coach bags off eBay, I actually I was very inexperienced. I really didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> so I actually got scammed um, scammed a few times. Um, so I just want to. Well, you guys just really be very careful when you buy uh, designer handbags off uh, eBay or you know any online websites. Um, and then you know I they were not that expensive. Well, it still you know cost some you know something. I mean probably like fifty dollars each. I probably got scammed a few times. And uh, some of them I did return. Um, and some of them I did not just because I guess it was eight years ago, and then I guess the eBay uh, buyer protection program wasn't really that popular, and then, you know, I mean, I mean, it's it's still money, but, you know, at least it's not like hundreds or uh, thousands of dollars, so, um, there were two of the fake ones I actually threw away because the zipper broke down, like, after one use, so, um, but I just want to show you an example of how naive I was um, when I first started um, to buy handbags off eBay. Um, this is actually one of the bags I bought, and then you know, I've, it, you know, you can tell obviously it's a fake um, coach. Uh, it's not even a good <laughs> fake because you know, I, hopefully you can see the pattern. The pattern is like kind of like vertical, like you know, ups and downs. The C's are you know kind of from up to you know to bottom. Uh, but you know, the real one, you know, the C's is kind of Horizontal, so it's like you know this way from left to right. Okay, so this is not even a good fake to be honest. Um, and then, but I really, I was really inexperienced and really naive. Um, um, when I got this bag, I, I had doubts that it may not be real because, 
you know, the the seats, you know, doesn't even line up like straight, you know, sometimes. And then, but it's kind of it's pretty like well constructed bag. I mean, it's, I would say great quality for a fake bag. Um, I use this probably like you know, from time to time, maybe a few weeks uh, when I first got it, and. Um, I had my doubts, but I wasn't 100% sure if it was real or fake. And then you, if you know me and my matching principles and actually search um, long and hard on eBay to find a matching wallet for this one in the same print. And it actually took me a couple of weeks to realize that Coach does not make this print. And this is obviously fake. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of show you like how naive I was uh, when I first... Um, trying to buy designer handbags off eBay. <laughs> um, so yeah, just be very careful. Um, yeah. All right. Um, the next one is this. Just put here. This is like a, a Coach uh, Signature C's um, fabric tote bag. And I got this off their uh, outlet store. For like a hundred dollars, a hundred twenty dollars, and then obviously I have the matching wallet here. Okay, you know, it's really great, like everyday tote bag. I haven't used this a lot either because I think it's a lot small for me now. Yeah, I'm carrying a lot more. And then I got to show you, and I also have like uh, these cute, I guess keychain. It's like heart shape with like ladybug on top, and then inside you can. You know, there's like pictures of me and my husband. So, <laughs> so some you know, I sometimes use this to hang on my like black uh, coach bags, and then, and then you can see like most of my bags are black because, you know, as I mentioned before, black is my favorite color. <laughs> uh, and I have this, um, what else? Yeah, I have this like key knob like, that's matching with this one. It's pretty chunky though, but anyway. Alright, the next one is my only sorry, only non tote bag style. Um, this is more like a hobo style. Okay. Uh, as, you know, because I like tote bag style most, um, I only have one, I guess, hobo style, which I actually like a lot. I actually worn, have, I bought this off eBay maybe four years ago. I actually I worn this one for one series, one year straight, um, maybe like three years ago, two or three years ago, because um, that particular year I was uh, obsessed with something else. I think I was more obsessed with like skincare and like bath and Prada and you know things like that. <laughs> so I actually used this bag, you know, straight for one whole year, and um, and then um, I think the last time I wore it. Um, was like last year that it was at, already after I bought purchased my first Louis Vuitton bag, which was the Rivington GN. Um, you know, you can see from my my first video was the review of the Rivington GN, and then and I was uh, using the Rivington GN straight like series for like a month or two, and I just decided to switch out. You know, one day and then and that one day I I was using this bag instead of Rivington GN. And then I, I put like a pen here, and then like seriously that pen was just got exploded, like <laughs> which never ever happened to me. So I don't know if you can see, probably not. But like the 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 inside of the two these two pocket, co pockets are basically soaked uh, in black ink. So I don't think it's it's kind of dry out, but yeah, you can probably see. Yeah, maybe a little bit like smudges here. But yeah, if you look, can look at the inside, it's all like soaked. Uh, in the black inks and yeah so it was just yeah it just happened to be the one day I I was carrying this bag instead of the Remington G I guess it was I was glad that you know it didn't happen to the Remington G I guess I would be super upset <laughs> and obviously I have the matching wristlet okay and then the next one is my only non black uh, coach bag. And then you can see most of the bags here are black. Um, I only basically only made exceptions um, for Louis Vuitton since uh, they really don't have a lot of uh, 
bags uh, in black color. Um, but you know, I usually don't make exceptions for other brands except for like this particular one. Um, because I just think it's so cute and pretty. It's it's deep red with brown CCs. Okay. I got this off eBay as well for like 50 bucks. Uh, got a great deal. It's a uh, light new condition. Uh, it has the like the hand metal hand tag here and then the you know this for your key and then I also have a cute um coach um keychain. It's like a puppy with like a uh, you know wear like a clothing which is actually it's at the same print as the back which is like um red color but with brown CC so it's exact match so it's so cute and obvious I have the matching wristlet with this one okay so in total the the bag and with the wristlet all together was like less than a hundred dollars that I purchased off eBay um uh, I, I really use this bag maybe once in a while um maybe for special occasion things like that um but you know I like it a lot uh I thought of selling it but I guess I will keep it and then maybe eventually we'll, you know maybe give to somebody in the family you know, we'll see but I like it a lot though all right next one is my last um coach bag that I purchased um uh, about six months ago it's a great tote bag pretty big too and then um it's uh made in like smooth leather I mean this the leather is just so smooth and soft I, I love it and I have kept the matching wallet as well um and uh, it's not exact matching but you know it's you know, close enough with like big circle with uh, CC pattern inside Okay, I it's this is actually my most used bag right now. Um, actually, when I go to work, I uh, most of the time I actually carry two bags. I know it's kind of crazy, but uh, I usually have uh, like a shoulder bag. Uh, most of the times, like my Louis bag, and I also have this one kind of you know, on the crook of my arms um, to carry like the extra stuff. You know, for example, if I have like a you know, extra pair of shoes, I have scarf or maybe a book, you know, something, you know, bigger that doesn't fit in my shoulder bag or, you know, when my shoulder bag gets too heavy, I'll put it here. So basically I use this every day, basically. So it's still in great condition and then it's good. I, I consider this great quality as well, even though, you know, it was like maybe a hundred or 110 or 120 bucks from the outlet store. And I have the matching wallet show you okay and then let me show you my only uh Gucci bag and I believe this called the Abbey tote bag you can see the Gucci on top okay and uh, it's made with their embossed leather that was G I guess GG um I don't know the exact name of this type of leather but I think it's very nice um it's different, but it's very subtle uh, because I'm not a showy type. I don't want everybody to know that um, I carry expensive handbags. So, yeah, this is great. I like it a lot. I mean, the leather has gone very soft as well. I also bought this off eBay. Um, I guess over the years, I really got uh, um, much better at, you know, spot, spotting authentic pieces uh, on eBay. And I also have the matching zippy wallet which I think I show in a different video and then the uh, zipper pull here is like a little heart shape with Gucci on top which is very cute okay yep and then my last non Louis bag is my Michael Kors and um, I basically purchased this bag just from watching old uh, BJ Taylor's videos uh before I want before I watching her videos I never really thought of Michael Kors back even though I guess they you know you can see them pretty much everywhere in department stores and basically everywhere um but I never really pay attention to it but until I watch her videos um uh, I guess because Michael Kors has a lot of high-end designer inspired style so that's maybe that's the reason why you know people who like high-end designer bags they also they also like Michael Kors too, like, you know, it's like a cheaper alternative. And it's something that they kind of like workhorse back, they, they can, 
kind of throw around, um, not pay, you know, not really baby then. Um, so this is, you know, again, a tote bag style. Um, this is in like black, you know, leather, kind of papa look uh, with their big, you know, MK logo tag. And I also have the matching uh, wristlet, kind of, but not exactly, because this is made like the embossed leather, which I actually like, prefer this kind of leather more than the plain one. But they also have a tote bag uh, in kind of this embossed leather, also in black. I didn't buy that one because I have read a lot of reviews that uh, the Michael Kors bag, if the inside of the bag, let me just kind of zip it up. I mean, open up a little bit if possible. That like see this one is like black uh, cotton lining, uh, but some of the bags inside has like the golden lining, and I have read actually more than one a few reviews um, that if it's like golden lining, I mean it gets like flaky, so it will kind of stuck on all the stuff you put in the bag, so it's gonna be like a mess. Um, so basically, after that happened, you really can't use the bag anymore. So, you know, so that's why I didn't want to buy, buy the other tote bag that's in this embossed leather because that one has the golden lining. Okay, so I like this one a lot. Uh, this is like another like a workhorse bag that I have. Um, and then just like BJ Taylor said, um, Michael Kors bag usually have like tons of pockets, like serious, like just tons. Um, bunch here and there's like one more here <laughs> actually you know um, I bought this bag maybe like two months ago um, so I've been um, you know used to wear my Louis Vuitton bags for a while which most of them you only come with like one pocket or two pockets so when I got this bag seriously I, I really <laughs> almost didn't know what to do with all the pockets <laughs> yeah but you know it's very functional I would say all right, that's my whole uh, non Louis Vuitton handbag collection. I hope you enjoy it, and then I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.